In this video, I'm gonna go over some great resources to get page templates for Elementor. Now, half of the ones that I'm gonna be talking about are completely free, and the other half they have some paid version of. I'm gonna have links to all those in the video description box down below, but this video is gonna have something for everyone. Now, it's gonna be full page templates, not those websites that have just individual slices of page templates. Uh, these will be the full thing that you can start using on your website right Right now. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make WordPress tutorial videos for non-techies. If you're new here, consider clicking on that subscribe button, then click on the notification bell to be notified when I have a new video. So let's jump in and let's move fast through this list. And the first one is obviously Elementor. The plugin is free, but did you also know that there is a variety of free page templates in there? And so you can see them here. Now there's also some paid ones that come in the pro version and there's a little badge up to the top right but they are adding to it so for example this one right here is a brand new page template in the free version of Elementor you could start using this right now today if you don't have Elementor Pro and you visit wpcrafter.com slash Elementor uh, that will take you over to a training course offer I have you can have that training course for free if you're getting Elementor now the next one is actually pretty exciting and it is Envato Elements and it's actually a little mysterious because it's just in beta right now. So this is a free plugin that you can install on any WordPress website. All you gotta do is go to plugins, add new, do a search for Envato Elements and what's gonna do when you activate it, it's gonna take you to this screen where first they ask you for your email address. I don't particularly like that they're asking for your email address, but it's okay, just pop an email address in there. Click on I agree and you can check this box if you want to give them permission to email you. And then when you click on continue, it's going to show you this wide variety of page templates. And I really like it. There's various niches and there's various template versions of the templates. So for example, there's four different homepage templates and you can choose the one that you want. And then there's other pages that you'd want on a complete website. So we've got one here for a restaurant and you can see this package comes with 21 templates. What I like about these is they're very nice and it's not reliant upon some add-on plugin to get some fancy thing and now you're stuck with a bunch of plugins on your site that you might not know that you had to install. These purely use Elementor. So you can see we have a restaurant, we have one for a conference, a coffee shop, a gym, video production, education, garden and maintenance, interior design, seafood restaurant, which could actually be adapted to work for any restaurant. And then we have one here for a SaaS app. And I actually didn't realize there's multiple pages here when I was testing this. So we've got a spa. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to make a dedicated video to this. There are so many free page templates in here. The list goes on and on. One that I liked was this restaurant one down here. So what you can do is if you see something that interests you, so for example, maybe this right here, actually this is the one I like, click on it and you're gonna be able to see the full page template right here and you can see if you like it. Obviously, you're not gonna like everything about a template. Uh, you'll be able to go in there and modify it. So what I didn't like about this is these order buttons because it's not easy to take food orders on a WordPress website. Uh, anyways, so what you could do when you find one that you like, it's very easy. You would go here, you would click on import template and it will take it and put it in your element or template library. Or right here you can create a brand new page and the template will be downloaded and applied on that brand new page. Just pop the name of the page in and then click on create new. But what I like about this is it's just not these one-off templates, which you kind of see with the Elementor templates. It's a full template pack. So you can choose the homepage design that you like, and you can create a new homepage and assign it to it. And then you could go here to look at the various menu formats. And these menu formats are actually pretty nice. I think I liked... Uh, maybe this one when I was looking at it or this one right here. Anyways, you can go here and you can choose the menu format that you like. This one also happens to have an about us and it's, it's pretty in depth and it's actually quite impressive to me that they're giving this away 
for free. You kind of wonder if there's a string attached later on. You don't know. Maybe they're just being generous. Uh, so anyways, this is Envato Elements. Uh, it's pretty impressive if you ask me. Next is the Astra theme. It is a free WordPress theme, but you might not have known there's a free plugin that they provide called Astra Sites. And when you go to plugins, add new and add Astra Sites, you get access to the free sites they have listed. Now they also have some paid sites and once you buy a certain package you can install those as well. So when you come here to the website I'm going to click on free. Here's a list of all of the free templates that they include and there are a lot of nice templates here. I can continue clicking on load more to show you all of them. Now what's really nice about this and here's that it is actually when I'm in my WordPress site with the plugin. What's really nice about this is you click literally one mouse click to install whatever plugin is need, which needed, which would be Elementor and maybe a contact form. And then you press one more button and it sets the entire website up for you. So with Envato Elements, you have to choose each page individually, create the page. Then you'd have to go in and create a menu in WordPress, style your mem menu and do all that kind of stuff, which is fine. Uh, it's great for what it is, but with Astra Sites, you just push a couple mouse buttons and you get that same exact design ready to go on your website. And what's nice is these are out of all of the, all of the templates, these are the most practical that you could actually start using today to get that that quick jump start on creating your website. Look at these, they're just very impressive. The designs are fantastic. Uh, these are just great all around. Here's a wedding one. Uh, there's some for different trades. Here's a great one for a charity. You just click on details preview. You check it out, you click on install plugins and then you'll click on install the site. And this one's actually nice because it even comes with a uh, form to collect donations. So that's AstroSite. So these were the three big resources that were free that I wanted to go over. And so now we're going to move into some of the paid options. So here's one called Crocoblock and it's an interesting URL. You can visit it, uh, link down below or visit wpcrafter.com slash Crocoblock, C-R-O-C-O-B-L-O-C-K. And they have quite a bit of templates down here. Now when you have to purchase this. It's not that expensive. It's only, let's see here, I've got it uh, 49 bucks for one website. You can do unlimited websites for a little bit more or a lifetime license. It includes a bunch of plugins. And that's the only thing I actually don't like about these templates. They are beautiful, but then you also are kind of now dependent upon the various plugins that are in the package. So they require that in order to accomplish some of these designs and taking the design and then making it into a website that you're actually using can be a little bit more of a challenge because there's a lot more complexity to it, uh, but you can't argue with the fact that they have beautiful designs here for these Elementor websites. So that is Crocoblock. A lot of people are using this and they're very happy with it. Next is the Generate Press theme. When you purchase the theme, they added this, I believe, in 2018. There, you can come to their website and check it out. There's a link right here for Site Library. They have several starter type of website designs where you can just click a few buttons and restore it to your site. So right now you can see they have six, seven, eight. They've got eight designs here and uh, you can easily restore these and it's included in purchasing the Generate Press theme. And the last one is Ocean WP and uh, they also have some free websites and some professional ones right here. I haven't used the pro ones to see if it's dependent upon their Elementor add-on pack that comes with the theme, uh, but they are available here and you can see some of these are pretty nice. I guess there's some there that are a little on the risque side for this <laughs> channel. Uh, so uh, anyways, um, I just wanted to share some of these resources with you because I know when you're just starting out, you want to get 
your website up and running. And whenever you're using a page builder like Elementor and you click create a new page and you're just staring at this blank canvas and then it's like, what the heck do I do next? And so that's what's kind of nice about some of these templates and especially the free ones is you don't have to ask that question, what do I do next? You kind of have something to start off of while you're learning the tool and while you're learning to design your website and figuring out going through that process of figuring out what it is that you like. So like I said, I've got links to all of these in the video description box down below. Most of those are probably going to be referral links. And when you do click on the link and purchase anything, a small portion comes back to support the channel. Um, so if you are going to purchase anything, just uh, if you could do that, I'd appreciate it, of course. So anyways, if you have enjoyed this video, found any value in it, consider giving it thumbs up remember to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell if you want to be notified when there's more valuable elementor related tutorials like this hey if you have anything to add to this the discussion there's a comment section down below i'd love to hear from you other than that i will see you in the next video